Dunder Mormon, this is Pam. I'm calling to let you know that my Book of Mormon was shipped to me, missing 116 pages. Okay, hold on a moment while I transfer you to Quality Assurance. Hello, this is Creed. What seems to be the problem? Not one, not two, but 116 pages of my Book of Mormon are missing. It wasn't me. I never said it was. Who are you? Who do you work for? This is Bill. Say no more. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to transfer you to Dwight. Thunder Mormon, Dwight Schroop. Hi. 116 pages of my Book of Mormon are missing. I was wondering if you could help me with this. I wouldn't know if there's 116 pages missing. Hold on, let me check mine. Jim? Yes, Dwight. Jim, I, I really need this book. Why don't you ask Michael for his? Michael? Prison didn't do nothing. I need to go back. I'm prison Mike. I don't need her! But I'm prison Mike. Don't need no one. Michael! Michael, I, I need your Book of Mormon. Dwight, if you're gonna come to my office, you need to come in calm and collected, sorry, sorry, okay? Sorry. I'm trying to do some sorry. really important work right now. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need, important I, work Michael, right now. I need your Book of Mormon. Why? Just get your own. Jim put mine in Jello. That was really not cool of cool Jim. Let's go sort this out right now. Jim! All right, everybody, I have an announcement to make. Y'all better listen up. Michael's about to lay down the law. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dwight. Um, someone in the office has uh, made a mistake, and one of our clients didn't get 116 pages of their Book of Mormon. So we need to figure out who that was. We know, we know it's from this branch, so uh, whoever it was needs to fess up, or we're going to have to talk to corporate. I'm suspicious. Uh, no. I heard it was Stanley. <clears throat> Stanley. Why would you think it was Stanley? He's just recovering from a heart attack. You can't pick him. Yeah, you can't, can't do that. That's racist. racist. Wow. Uh, we can't do that. Racist. That's racist. Angela. Oh, yeah. Angela. Angela. I thought a great idea as to who I think it was. So when we have a problem here in the branch, it, we, we got to figure out who it was. And whenever there's a huge major problem like it was today, we have to involve corporate. Um, and I don't like to talk to corporate, especially after my breakup with Holly. I'm, things haven't been the same. Anyway, uh, we figured that since no one would fess up, we'd have to get rid of the most expendable person Michael. in the office. And Michael, what if it was Marty? No, that's a dumb idea. Why? No. The most expendable person in the office. What if we got rid of Marty? Genius idea. Hey, Marty, can you come to my office, please? Wait, wait. Marty, 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 you did a bad thing. Wait, shut up. Okay. Marty. Martin, is it? Yeah. You've been with us six months? Mm-hmm. Well... We found out about the 116 pages that you took from one of our books. And we need someone to fess up 
or we're going to be in some very serious trouble with corporate. What's that, boss? Oh, I'm pretty sure it was Michael. Oh, boy. No, actually, I saw Creed holding papers suspiciously. Creed, it, it wasn't was me. Phyllis. 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 Yeah. Well, that kind of makes sense, Phyllis. Michael? We need some extra money for you and Bob Vance, Advanced Refrigeration. Where does he work? Oh. It was Dwight. Jim, that's a lot of accusations. I mean, 